Verse 37, he talks about the father testifying, and he says, you have never heard his voice. You have never heard his voice. But they say, well, we hear his voice through scripture. We study scripture. He says, no, you got it wrong. You've never seen his form. Nor does his word dwell in you, verse 38, for you do not believe the one he sent. Okay, that's challenging to me. Nor does his word dwell in you. Uh, but the Bible is the word of God, isn't it? Well, Jesus says, in a sense, and in a sense not. I'm the word of God. And if you're misreading these words, he says the word of God, that's what he calls it here. The word of God does not dwell in you. But hold on, scripture did dwell in them, absolutely. But Jesus does not make a one-to-one -one ratio comparison between word of God and scripture. You can have a lot of scripture and you not have the word of God in you. Apparently, Jesus says this. No one on the planet at the time knew scripture, studied scripture, memorized large portions of scripture, they, more than the Pharisees. These religious leaders, these scribes, had it inside them. The scripture, I mean, from toddlerdom, they memorized scripture. It was in them. He says, yeah, you diligently study the scriptures, but you, you, know, you fail to see that I'm at the center of them. And so that line challenges me. Uh, Nor does his word dwell in you. The scriptures dwelled in them. The word of God did not dwell in them. Jesus at the center is God's word, is God's message to us.